Hey guys, before we start the vlog, I wanted to go ahead and announce the giveaway winners for the collaboration with Live Lab Love Co. here on Etsy. Thank you everyone for participating and filling out the Google form. Um, I'm really glad that people felt comfortable enough to share their journey to the lab as well as give me feedback for content in the new year. I really do appreciate it. If you left a question about medical laboratory science, I will be answering it in an upcoming Q&A, so stay tuned for that. And drum roll. <laughs> the two winners of the giveaway are Jessica and Vanessa. You will be receiving an email soon about details for receiving your prize. Again, thank you guys so much for entering. I'm considering keeping an active Google form. I absolutely loved reading the responses, so I feel like it's a great way for me to be able to connect with you guys in my small little corner of YouTube. <laughs> So I am considering um, making a Google form open to anybody to share your journey if you want, ask me questions, and continue to give me content ideas for the future. So yeah, I think it would be great. So uh, yeah, just look for that link in the future in the description box. If you ever want to ask me questions directly, feel free to email me or message me on Instagram with the contact information in the description box below. All right, so this is basically a get ready with me video. Uh, today is Saturday, December 24th and I am going to be working 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. tonight as a PRN journalist. I now work two laboratory jobs. I work full-time in microbiology at one hospital on day shift, and then I work PRN as a journalist at another hospital for variable shifts. Uh, so unfortunately, I am going to be working through the holidays for Christmas and New Year's this year for these hospitals. So I'll be spending Christmas weekend at one hospital and I'll be spending New Year's weekend at the other hospital to work. And it's crazy because I worked the same holidays last year, so having to take that time away from going to see family again is upsetting. So I have not been in the best holiday spirit this year just because I'm gonna be at work. I'm trying to look on the bright side that somehow the work I'm doing will be helping patients get the care that they need this holiday season. And I'm telling myself that so that I'm not in a bad funk about it. Yeah, y'all gonna have to bear with me because I'm going through a very bad asthma flare up. So if I sound short of breath or I start coughing or something, I'm gonna try to edit it out, but just in case I don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I really, I really wanted to get this video out. So I'm pushing through it. This is my scrub top for tonight. And I absolutely love gingerbread. I'm so excited to wear it tonight at work. <laughs> to bring in some Christmas spirit, you know. I was supposed to wear a hematology coag, but I'm getting floated to Blood Bank Micro because I'm the only blood banker on schedule. So we are going to see how work goes tonight. <laughs> Hopefully good. Yeah, as far as work at the new job, I am now trained to work the urine culture bench. So that's reading bacterial growth on agar plates for urinary tract, bladder, and kidney infections. Uh, and doing susceptibility testing after the ID of the pathogen. I'm basically working independent for the most part. But yeah, the job itself is pretty cool. Essentially, I'm being paid to play with microbes. <laughs> and it's just nice to be able to immerse myself in microbiology just all day long. That's all I think about. And that aspect is fun. But um, I'm still trying to adjust to the work environment and my new coworkers. But here it's very weird. I have absolutely nobody to talk to in my department. It's so bad that I feel like every time I open my mouth to breathe, I am inconveniencing these people. And of course I'm new, so I'm going to have questions about plate reading and reporting and policies and stuff. But it's like I'm bothering them every time I say something. <laughs> Hard to explain. Almost as if they're treating me like I should already know everything. And my thing is, if they wanted somebody fully trained, they should have hired a traveler and not me. <laughs> because I fully disclosed that I was here to gain experience. And it's just so annoying to me because this is the second job that I've had where I'm made to feel like nobody wants to train me. And it's sad because I love learning and this field is full of so many opportunities to have learning experiences. But I have yet to find a place that has that same enthusiasm as me, if that makes sense. I don't know. Granted, I'm not here to make friends, but if this is my permanent job, I want to at least feel comfortable in my workplace. If anybody has been in like a similar situation, please leave me some tips or something, but hopefully things will change. Hopefully things will change. I don't know.
It was a very long night, a very long 12 hours of troubleshooting things that shouldn't have been broken. <laughs> I'm tired, but I am excited for Bay and Pup to open up their Christmas gifts because I surprised them. So I'm going to go have my Christmas morning with them and then I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> You got your Christmas sweater. You got your Christmas sweater. Ooh. All right, so I'm up and awake after that 12 hour night shift. Unfortunately, I do have to work tomorrow, a 12 hour day shift. So. <laughs> I'm going to basically spend the rest of the day trying to flip my sleep schedule back to day shift. I am off of work Tuesday through Thursday this week, so I'm going to go home and see my family and my boyfriend's family right, you know, before New Year's. Then I am working all of New Year's weekend. <laughs> I probably won't post again until we see 2023. So I really do hope that you guys have a safe and wonderful holiday season. I'm signing off so I can get some rest. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.